my story before Prove It, you really have to go all the way back to when I was a kid. And essentially, my dad stressed education as a tool to make the world better. Uh, when I was five years old, I got my first chemistry set, my first actually like little lab coat, and I was kind of hooked from there. I mean, I literally was five and someone asked me, what do you want to be? And I said, I want to be a scientist. So uh, school was huge for us, and we basically studied and studied and did research. I mean, did research since I was a little kid and then um, ended up getting a, a number of degrees. Now, I thought that the more studies I did, the more I would impact the world. Um, myself and actually my colleague, Ryan Lowry, uh, were in the lab constantly doing research over and over again. We fed off each other. We thought, hey, if we do more studies, we're gonna impact the world. There's an award that uh, I'd always wanted, the Young Investigator of the Year Award, and it was my lifelong dream. And I thought if I could do enough work to reach that award, I would change a lot of lives. So I had gotten to a point where I published over uh, close to 200 papers and I received, I got word that I received the Young Investigator of the Year Award. And this is before Prove It. And I can remember going up on stage and I thought it was gonna be my, my moment. And I looked out in the crowd. There was a sea of doctors and scientists. And instead of feeling excited, instead of feeling like I had reached this pinnacle, I actually felt let down. I felt there was some emptiness inside of me. All that science I had done, all that research, the only people that could understand it were those PhDs and those MDs and those other scientists. And that left me empty because I realized that this research wasn't gonna get out to the world for maybe decades. And one of our colleagues, Dr. Angela Poff, one of the world's experts on ketones, her mentor, Dr. Dominique D'Agostino, I had known since 2008. We published papers together, we've done research on ketogenic dieting together. We sat down with Brian and basically they said, we have this product, we want you to test it, we want you to optimize it, but if, if you test it and it doesn't work, take it away. Until this is optimal and actually changes lives, we don't want it. And we'd never heard that from anyone before, because Ryan and I have done so many, I can't name how many studies we've done. Um, Fortune 500 companies have come to us and not one of them have ever made that statement. Brian asked us to come speak, actually in Las Vegas, and when I, when I saw the crowd, I'd never seen anything like it. I saw more energy and more passion in that crowd than I'd ever seen before in any of the audiences I've spoken across the world. And I knew at that moment that this was the mechanism to take all that hard work, all that labor, all those hours of agony in the lab and make it go viral, globally, literally. And that's after Prove It. That's my why, that's why I get up in the morning. That's my passion, that's why I'll constantly work is to be able to translate that information to the general population so they can empower themselves and transform their lives. I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson and I prove it every single day.